Hey there, it's media time again. This will be my second video, or week two, and I have a little assistant here to help me. Hey, I want to thank everybody that watched and commented on the first video. This is a lot of fun, so let's get started. So this week, I'm going to start with a comment that came in about my recent review of the Chrysler 300. In the video, I used Chrysler's slogan imported from Detroit, and apparently this is not 100% accurate. As pointed out by Luxury Kid 666 now, Kid says, I get that you put the slogan in the description, but it's actually imported from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Believe that? Well, I don't care if it's imported from Mars, I really like the 300. I think it's loaded with great technology, convenience features, and luxury. Perfect for a luxury kid like you. Thanks, Kid, for the comment. Now the question I've chosen to answer this week is on a topic that's very near and dear to me. And it comes from King Kekchur. King Kekchur. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. After he viewed my 2011 BMW 328i review. Now the King asks, are you reviewing the car or are you reviewing your face? He wants to know if I'm reviewing my face. <laughs> Now, King, the video runs 3 minutes and 43 seconds. That's about 3 and a half minutes longer than needed to describe this ugly mug. Now, of course, my face will be in my videos. They're my videos. But I think I covered the vehicle pretty well, don't you think? Did I do a good job? Okay. Listen, I love your feedback, and I'm always trying to improve and give viewers what they're looking for. You asked for a review of my face, so here goes. I'd have to say that it's an average face. It's sort of a bulbous nose he has. Average indeed, but quite lovely. What do you think about my face, Haley? Do you like my face? Yeah? You think Daddy has a nice face? Thank you, baby. I don't think King Couture likes my face. Why? I don't know. Now this week's correction comes from two not-so-average people about my description of the Nissan Leaf's transmission. And so how is the transmission? What's the transmission feeling? The feel transmission like? is there's, it's, uh, it's that... Uh, CVT? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 so there's no change between gears. Yep, yep. Now apparently the Leaf doesn't have a CVT transmission. In fact, it doesn't have a tranny at all. D.H. Dunn, 1995, points this out in his comment. He says, the transmission is not a CVT. There is essentially no transmission at all. There is instead a reducer that regulates power from the engine to the wheels. In essence, the car has one gear. Exciting stuff, right? Yeah. In essence, the car has one gear, so there is no gear shifting whatsoever, CVT or otherwise. Yes, baby girl. Do you see me? I see you, yeah. yeah. Beautiful faces, two beautiful faces. So as you can see, Bob, the owner of said leaf, doesn't even know the answer. Sorry, Bob. Stay away from bus stops and you won't get hit. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks 79 is also quick to add, correction, the Nissan Leaf does not have a transmission. It's connected directly to the electric motors. Thanks, guys. That cleared it all up. Obviously, you two are much smarter than me. Hey, Seriously, I really enjoyed my test drive of the Leaf, and I hope those of you that haven't seen that review will go check it out and give Bob the business for not knowing what transmission he has in his own vehicle. How are you doing? Now we're going to close it up, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, and that's media time for now. Thanks for watching, and look for my new video review of the 2012 Kia Sportage. I'll probably be posting that in a couple of days. Also, I just posted a review of a cool restaurant in New York City called Food Park. Check that out here at the Media Mart or on my food channel, The Foodie Mart. Thanks again. See you later. And keep pushing play. Good job, girlfriend. And I'll see you next time.